Hello and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we've got to look at a mod that I feel that I shouldn't like but personally I kind of do but uh, today's going to be looking at something that is certainly a little bit different and it's the uh, it's the steam engine mod from Vape Man. <laughs> hey so then before further ado let's go up close and check out this leather bound bastard shall we? Come on then. Here is the steam engine box that it comes in and I think the unboxing experience is very pleasant indeed. You've got a little bit of information, doesn't quite fix, I couldn't put it all back together again but you know what I mean. Um, you've got a little bit of information around the outside of it there that you can have a look at, pause and all that if you like and you do have the fivemakers.com um, uh, website down the bottom there. Now it says made in China, however it is designed and engineered in, uh, in America I believe. Um, I don't really know what that means but it's a thing. Now then, this one is marked as being the vintage brown one, but there is also a cork and a grey one. I've not seen these, so I don't know what they look like. However, this vintage brown one I think is gorgeous, and we'll see that in a moment. So the box is fairly simple and straightforward, nothing to get super excited about. Then once we open this bad boy up, we'll see that there is a, uh, a little sort of manual going on here. Hopefully that's, uh, that's going to be in focus. And this manual tends to spend more time talking about the DNA 75 board that's in here than anything else. I've not had any kind of idea about the actual materials that they've used in the making of this mod. But, uh, but no, it's a, uh, it's a thing. Um, you can see here that they're very polite. Thank you very much all. Thank you for your purchase. Through a successful international partnership, we've been able to bring you a device that has been carefully designed and engineered in the USA, then manufactured in China. Blah, 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 blah. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a thing. But uh, like I say, with this manual, you do get a little bit of a kind of a, uh, a what it's all about down here in as much as what all the buttons and the things do. And then after that, what we're looking at is how to install the batteries. And then the rest of this is all DNA 75 relevant. Now then once we break this open, obviously the mod comes in this very funky little bag, which I think does make that unboxing experience just a little bit nicer. And then I can't get it out, but in there, there is a uh, USB cable as well. Now then, popping this box to one side for a moment, we can look at the mod itself. Like I say, I really, I really like this bag. I think it's, it sounds silly, but a little Hessian sack on something that's supposed to be inspired by a kind of a steampunk thing. I think we can all agree this is not a steampunk mod, but uh, having that kind of inspiration from that, I think all adds to that unboxing experience. And there we have it. If I zoom in a little bit on that bad boy, this is what it looks like and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I really, really do. Now this is a heavy old mod. This is not a, uh, a super light and tatty mod. Now one of the things you will notice as soon as you get out of the, uh, of the box there is, I mean, this brushed finish here, it looks like a kind of a brushed brass finish. Um, I don't know if that's the case. It certainly may be. But one of the things that you'll notice is with these buttons, I think these are, these are kind of copper coated or copper colored because you'll see that my one there if I can zoom in a little bit more my one there seems to be kind of wearing off a little bit or, or things seem to be going on with that one um, which is uh, which is a bit weird but um, but no as far as it goes these are very very rat rattly I mean you can see that kind of spinning about there and kind of moving around it's a very, very rattly button and you can't get away from that. And the up and down buttons are indeed very, very similar to that as well. Now then, you'll see that I have been using this a lot and there is wear, a little bit of wear on the actual brass itself or whatever this is going on up there. So yeah, it's a thing, that wear is real. But uh, for this style of mod, I think that's something to be expected, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. But obviously we've got the DNA 75 screen there, the up and down buttons going on there, and then the USB underneath there as well. But uh, no, as far as it goes, you've got this kind of leather material going on. Um, you've got a nice Vape Man um, logo emblazoned in the leather on the side here, which I think is lovely. The stitching hasn't come undone. It's got not got any frayed bits on it or anything wobbly since I've started using it, and I'm very, very happy with that. And exactly the same on the other side. Now then, when it comes to the 510, you can see that it's a big bastard. And um, it's got steam engine and then 907, so the serial number in there as well. Now then, when we look at the size of that, you can see that... Uh, that's uh, that's that's inches. That's not uh, millimeters. Let's go to millimeters, shall we? Um, let's have a little look there. 
So you can get a good solid 27 mil atomizer on there without any big licks and uh, you're not going to have any overhang. Although, strangely enough, the actual 510 itself overhangs. So that's going to be something that you need to be aware of. Now then, when it comes to the battery door, it's got a nice little arrow emblazoned on there next to the venting. So you just pull that out. Your batteries go in a positive down. Boom, boom, like so. Um, you do have two minuses on the back of the battery door and then all you do is you just pop your battery door in, give it a little bit of a push down and then slide it in like so. Once you're in, you are then good to go. And I do like the fact that it comes up with this little steam engine logo. They've uh, programmed that in. And uh, all in all, that's it. But I think it looks glorious, doesn't it? So that was the up close tour around the uh, the Vape Man steam engine, and uh, it's a thing. It's a thing, isn't it? I think from a from a just a, a looks standpoint, and also to feel in the hand, I think it's absolutely glorious. I really, really do. I do think that the uh, the button. I think uh, I showed you where that kind of finish is faltering somewhat um, and I think that that's, that was cheaply made um, and I think some of the metal parts are a little bit cheaper than they should be really for this kind of aesthetic but uh, having said that I've got a uh, couple of uh, Claptons going on in here at 66.6 watts coming at uh, 0 point, uh, 0 0.17 and obviously this is only a DNA 75 but still That's not doing too bad at all, is it? So, yeah, I mean, the thing, the, the, the oh, so let's look at the negatives. Let's go logical, Dean. So we've got uh, price. I think price wise is pretty difficult to find. Once again, this is much like the pipes I reviewed recently. Trying to be able to find this online has been really quite challenging. And um, I found it for £79 from eSig1 in the UK. Never used them. Don't know if they're any good or not. And um, in uh, in China on AVE40, AV40, AVE40. Dot com um, it's $119 that's a lot of money that's a lot of money um, and so yeah I mean so that's that's potential well I think that is going to be a negative um, now then the, uh, the 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 kind of the things that are may or may not be negative is the 510 at the top as we said unlike an atomizer hanging over your 510 now you've got your 510 overhanging the mod <laughs> <laughs> which is something that's a little bit different um the uh the weight a lot of people will be put off from, from by the weight it is a heavy heavy beast you've definitely got something solid in your hand at that point in time um oh sorry i've got to go back just flick back to the negatives the rally buttons they are gonna really upset some people anyway the weight that's the rattle, by the way. The weight is uh, is certainly there. It's definitely, you know, you can't you can't kind of pop this in your shirt pocket and get away with it. That's not going to be the case at all. And it's also quite wide. From there to there is actually quite chunky. So um, you do need a kind of a larger hand for it to fit and comfortably fit in there. Um, so you know, all in all, this is going to kind of. I think it's. I think it's, you can tell that my brain's firing on many different cylinders today, but I think it's kind of, um, in a similar way to the pipes that I reviewed, it's very kitsch, it's very kind of, it's very, I think it's super cool, I think it looks great, I think it uh, it works really, really well. And for most of the time of me using this, to be honest with you, rather than doing anything cloudy on it, I've had the Berserker sitting down on top of this, Other, uh, this is when I've been, you know, just using it in my normal day to day rather than sort of testy stuff. But um, yeah, I've been having the Berserker on top of it and I think that looks cool. And I've been rocking this at 11 watts or 16 watts. And so the battery life has been brilliant. And so it's been a good solid by the side of me on the sofa mod and I've had a jolly good time with it. Um, I do think the price is gonna put people off massively. I think that's going to be a huge sort of negative. If this was to be able to come in at around that sort of £60 kind of mark, then I think for something that, uh, especially if they sorted out that button so it didn't kind of corrode and lose itself, then uh, I think it would, I think it would um, gain a lot more interest. 
but uh, but no, I mean the DNA 75 board, it's not gonna be cheap to put in there. And I imagine the materials are not too bad either. It's well made. The leather is really, really nice. It's really well stitched. And you know, I think, like I said, it looks great. It feels great, but it is pricey. And it is only a DNA 75. I know a lot of people are gonna complain and say, well, that should be a fucking DNA 250 in there. But uh, it's not, so there we go. <laughs> I can still get some pretty darn decent clads out of this, and that makes me happy. So it's not really a great deal else I can tell you about this one, guys and girls. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. I'll leave my little subscribe thing under there, and I'll pop a couple of videos there and there, and hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Have it large.